Hi everyone, we are here for round five. Uh, we are on the draw. Uh, Matt, what are we going to do here? I would keep this hand because we have uh, fetch land, the fuel logic knot. We have uh, path to exile for early interaction. And uh, since we're on the draw, we have a high chance of hitting our third and fourth lands for uh, Esper Charm and Snap. So. Agreed. All right, let's keep it. And by the way, guys, sorry, I don't know what this Razor Snaps configurator message is, but I, it has to do with my mouse. I can't get it to go away, so sorry about that. You'll just have to know that I'm logged into my mouse for whatever reason at NathanQuint at gmail.com. Send me messages. Crixus Delver. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so I would play the fetch land with the idea that we're going to pass the turn and see if the Delver flips, and we will end up fetching a Hollowed Fountain at some point. I don't know if we're going to path uh, his Delver yet or not. He flipped. <clears throat> what, what Let me see what he... Yeah, I'm about to look. Uh, he revealed a remand. I think we need to path it. I just don't know if we're going to get a hollowed fountain or a path. I mean, hollowed fountain or planes. I, I would. Uh, I, I think we want the hollow fountain because then we have logic not mana. Uh, if we don't hit another land source, we're not going to have that available to us. Only downside is if he they do run dispel as, I want to say it's a one of at the most. If he has a dispel, then we're going to be taking a lot. We'll be taking six total. Yeah, but, but then we'll have another path. And I, I mean, I, I, I agree with the Hall of Fountain play. Like, if he has it, he has it, you know? Yeah. I, I have a tendency to be more liberal with my life total than some other players probably. All right, that's good. Actually, really, we don't even know what if this is Grixis or if this is like Bug. It's Grixis is more likely, obviously, as you said. But uh... yeah, I would be really surprised if it wasn't Grixis. Yeah, I did play against the Bug Delver at the GP. That's. I would almost suspect, not not with these colors of it, obviously, but Rug, I would think would be more popular. W what is in Bug Delver? Uh, Tasker, Hooting Mandrills. Uh, discard spells. Huh. I don't know, man. If I'm gonna play Delver, I definitely want to play. I want to play Bolt. <sighs> okay. Young Pyromancer. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that's awkward. Um. So we probably want to just answer this with the path now, so he doesn't get value out of it. I mean, as much as I hate that. I agree with you. Um, and then there's no point in shocking in the fountain because we, it's really not worth representing like a snare because he'll, he'll just play whatever he's going to play anyways. I mean, if we had a verdict in hand or, or if we had like, if we had a verdict in more lands or something, like maybe we could just ignore it knowing we can clean it all up, but. Yeah. We don't have that liberty though. Yeah. And uh, the the one nice thing, so it's he's already played Delver, he's played Young Pyro, so he's probably doesn't have much more in the way of threats in his hand right now, and he's not unless he plays another fetch. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Like he can Tassiger with another fetch, but one, two, three, four. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just what I was counting. Um, and then if he does that, and we hit our land, we can snap path that. And he's probably not going to be doing anything for a while. I smell 
Gurmog Angler or something. The jig is up. The jig is up. Our hand has no lands. Do you hear like a weird like wind type sound or is it just me? It's like in my head earbuds. I don't not really, I don't think so. Right. I'm losing it. I mean we've been playing a good amount of magic. Oh my gosh, this guy's got a million lands in play. <laughs> Literally a million lands. He's got a million mana. Might as well to our two. If he has a million, I hope he doesn't play Crater Huff. <laughs> Here comes something big. Well, this is gross because he's got a remand. Yeah, this is uh, not the best situation. Well, I guess we just have to pass. Uh, honestly, I feel like we think twice to try to hit a land. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's right. We, we need something. If we don't hit a land, I I almost think we should just get to game two. Just to save the time? Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> oh, man. We haven't, uh, yeah. we haven't used too much time yet. He's got us on a four turn. He's got us on a three turn clock because yeah. we have to assume he's going to have, have like a bolt available. Uh... So we have to hit a one-man removal spell, and it can't be dismembered because I'll just get remanded. Um, so we only have like four draws that are good here. It's cause snap can chump block, but it's gonna get remanded if we go for the path. Yeah, for sure. Do we path here? I'm sorry, do we do we pass is what I meant to say? Uh yeah, probably. Well, unless we wanna try snap pathing now. Like our 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 snap path is gonna get answered by a remand. He does he only has two cards in hand. Yeah. Um, I mean snap path is gonna be answered, I don't really I don't really think we know why we wanna do that, but I'm wondering I mean, we played a land. I'm just wondering if we want to. I wonder if we want to try to like Esper Charm him at his upkeep, and make him. Respond. We're gonna have to bolt ourselves to do that, and then yeah. we just short short clock. And that has merit. It does. Well, the thought, the hope is that we were able to draw a land, and then we can wrath away this Grumog Angler, and he either uses his remand to deal with our Esper Charm, or he discards it, and then we can say for his all a sweeper. Um, but I mean, we are taking ultimately we're going to take eight in that process and be at four, which is probably not a good place to be. Yeah. Um, maybe the best thing to do is to just. I wonder if the best thing to do is just to get an island. Uh, or rather, maybe we could just try to run Snapcaster Mage out and block. And if he remands Snapcaster Mage, then... Would I, I, re what? I don't think he's going to remand the snap. I think he'll wait for... I think he wants to remand the, the path to exile is what I would yeah. guess. Yeah. So maybe we can just save ourselves a life and maybe we draw a land. Yeah. I, I, we, we, we need to... All right. Well, I'm going to pass then. I, I, I like the Esper Charm idea, but I, I just don't think... like e Either way, we're, we're getting uh, a remand out of his hand, and hopefully he doesn't have anything beyond that. Uh, but 
taking three more damage because that 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 really shortens the clock a turn. So we're yeah. we're snapping, right? Just uh, f fetch an island to cast it. The only reason I wasn't going to fetch an island was, let's say he allows us to block, then maybe we don't flashback. I guess we have to flashback path because we want him to use it, but I mean, so we can try to resolve a wrath. But the other option is we then just, if we use the two hollowed fountains, we and he allows us to actually block, then we don't take the damage, and then we can flooded strand for a watery grave, which potentially gives us a okay. black source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's that makes sense. But he may just spell snare this as well. Uh, oh, so he's just gonna mana leak. All right, and that that that's gonna be game there. Because right. we're we're gonna need a land and another turn, which we won't have. Uh, dispel, duress, purge, are all good. I think we want to cut these cryptics. I don't know why those are going over there, but the the reason I say that is like his deck is basically designed to be good against things like cryptic command he's got much cheaper counters he has he's going to be bringing in death spells and things like that and it's going to just the like cryptic's a good card but i feel like it's going to be really difficult to to just utilize them the way that we'd want to against that deck okay um you cut two cryptics Hold on, let me see. i don't know if we even want duress what did i what was i doing i'm just doing all kinds of stuff here i it was I, the I dispel worth it because uh, it, it, it'll it help push uh, our answers to resolve do we want wrath of god I think we want verdict but I don't know about wrath of god I'm not sure wrath is good when they have Tassiger like, might be interesting if we think he's going to take out his Terminates. Yeah. I, I I like having the three board wives. It might not be the correct decision, but uh, it gives us an additional answer to, like, resolve the uh, young Pyro, and it also punishes him for committing more than one threat to the board, which in a lot of instances he will have to do. Um, and I think having the uh, Dispel and Duress to support it makes it more viable. I wouldn't cut all the Cryptics, because I think it's... I don't know, maybe it's just me being stubborn, but I think it's too good of a card. It is a really good card, but it's it's literally like... I, I feel like we have, we, 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 we're not countering his things as much as we need to be removing and destroying them. Fair enough. I, I really think Cryptic against the Delver deck is the wrong card to have. Why did it move all this stuff everywhere? So I'm gonna bring in these duresses, the dispel. What do we say? The purge. Um, Tassiger. I think Tassiger Cl seems okay. Okay too. I only worry about Click and Colligan's command, but maybe it's not a big deal. Let, let's let's run out what we got. Okay. Here. I'm not even sure how good remand is, but I guess we can remand our own spells, so that's probably okay. Yeah, we'll play first. Sounds gross. And some mulligan. Huh? <laughs> Might just need to go for it, because going to five on the play is pretty nasty. Well, hopefully he just like turn one service or something like that. Then we can think twice. Yeah. No such. Uh, no such luck. Yeah. Um, probably play this island. Yeah, and pass it. I mean, maybe he just will get lucky and not flip Delver. Delver's never flip in modern. Or they always flip. See. <laughs> They've been shown the flip half the time. <laughs> Statistics say. Hmm. 
Alright, so, so now our, our plan here is to brutally outplay him. I don't think we negate that. No. We want to save it. For we, like we really just need to think twice and draw into things. Yeah. Depending on what we draw, and this this may be a, a bad... This, this may not be good enough, but I'm thinking back to that match against the red deck. Like, if we can get Tarpit online and his Delver doesn't flip, then he technically probably can't attack with it. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's correct, though. If we, I guess we need to see what we draw off these next two draws. Yeah. Thinking, thinking once. Once is enough. I like Esper Charm. Uh, I I want to hold up uh, three mana here. All right. <clears throat> Because, like, like, if the Delver flips, the you know, I let, doesn't I, do anything. I did let that Thought Scar resolve, but it is debatable if you... I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we don't want to counter that. I think now we just need to draw cards. We need to try to find answers. Yeah. As much as I'd like to flashback thing twice, we probably want to ask for Charm just because we need to dig deeper. Yeah, I, I, I agree. So we need to go deeper. Esper Charm draw two? Yeah. That's going to eat something. Probably. Ugh, that's annoying. Yeah. Um, if we flood it, we can... I, I think we want to play the flooded. I mean, we, we know we probably want to flashback thing twice. I mean... Yeah. And but the, the sad thing is you're, we're kind of doing it into a potential remand, but... We have to. So so then why, why do we want to play flooded strain if we can get the creeping tar pit? Am I missing something? Well, what, what, what is Tar Pit doing for us? What is Flooded Strand doing for us? We're not going to have any four mana uh, plays that I can think about. It could, well, it, uh. And, and as much as this doesn't matter. The thinning? Uh, the thinning, which. Um. And I, I think it's like the safest turn to play it, and. I don't, I don't know if, like, this. If the situation really calls for it, we could. And oh, there's no point in snack casting at all. Huh. Well, let's. I'll let you make a quick call so that we don't spend any more time on it. I I, I want to flooded. Okay. It, it might be wrong, but I want to. It might also be right. Well, I guess he doesn't know that we cut Cryptic. Maybe. Yeah, but look, I mean, Cryptic would be just really terrible right now. He's got a threat established and a bunch of mana, five cards. Like, this is kind of, I think, why we cut Cryptic, because of this type of situation. It's just giant and clunky and right. doesn't do enough. Oh, uh, and I could very well be wrong, but I had like a different philosophy uh, with it. Like, I, I have never actually cut more than one cryptic before because I'm just such a big fan of the card. And it basically, like, it forces your opponent to have answers to your answers. Um, and it's just so flexible. I mean, we're just, we just gotta let this through. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to like fetch for a flooded strand and then flashback thing twice? I mean, hollow to fountain. Yeah. I feel like I think twice is just going to meet a untimely demise. 
of a remand. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe he won't care. If, if he taps out here, we can snap Asper Charm to dig. Ugh, so many lands. <laughs> well, we can still snap Asper Charm, but... I mean, I probably don't want to do it this turn. Do we just play the, do we just play the island and pass? Yeah. Eventually, uh, pretty soon here, Colony's going to be online. Yeah, that's true. But I, I'm, I'm wondering how many threats or lands he's sandbagging right now. I mean, we have no play, so we're letting this through. Are we? Yeah. The question is, are we snap as per Charmina to turn? I, I, I think we have to. We can't just keep sitting here. We got to force him to have something. We're, like, dangerously close to getting burned out. Yeah. This... This is what's happened to me playing Esper against Grixis, and I don't know if I'm just like fated to draw poorly, but the, the, this is a pretty poor draw on our end. I feel like there there have been yeah, I mean there have been times where I feel like I just don't find threats again or find find removal for their threats. Well, if he lets that through, we have a blocker for an Untold Delver. Deprive. Do we negate his Deprive? I mean... I think we do. We're not doing anything else with it. Something going here. Might not get another opportunity to cast it. Yeah, value. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just brutal. Yeah. Uh, well, well, hold on. We we can play an island and activate cryptic command. I mean, so let's still colonnade. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, colonnade is our blocking king now. Mm. I don't think we attack. No. I mean, if Delver doesn't flip, then. Yay. Woohoo! Party. We, we gotta go to the block. If he has terminate, he has terminate, but it's all Yeah, no. Right yeah, no, I mean, I agree. It's gross, but it is what it is. Don't do it, bro. Don't terminate our colonnade. Just don't do it. Don't terminate our colonnade. Okay. I'm still going to block your Delver. We're still blocking, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, if, he, if he's going to bolt that, that gives us another turn. We're not dead. Yeah. Do they run a basic mountain? Uh... You have to look. You have to look up a list on MTG Goldfish or something because I don't know. Reman just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should cut that. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Reman in the matchup, but no, I guess we play the target. But but I well, I mean, it's it's okay for countering your own spells. I mean, I think we play the tar pick because what else were you yeah. gonna do? Okay, they do. They do run one basic mountain. Don't flip, bro. You don't want to flip. Flipping's way overrated. <laughs> oh, God, he flipped it. Value. Ah, uh, so sad. And, and now we're hoping he plays something that we can remand. <laughs> Here's his basic mountain. <laughs> oh, dude, Ghost Quaker is lands now. Board and Crucible. We've got a win con. 
We're at six. He used a he used a bolt on Arcana. It makes me wonder if he's got a Snapcaster Mage in his hand. All right. Well, I guess we can look. <laughs> oh boy, let's let's see what's gonna kill us. <laughs> Snapcaster and two bolts. Um. Well, we have to take the bolt. Yeah. I'm surprised they even let this happen. Yeah. Some questionable... Oh, no. Oh, shit. We messed up. Why? We should have remanded our own duress. But he had a dispel. I guess it wouldn't really mattered. Yeah, we, 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 we needed that. One more yeah, time. we did need to draw, yeah. though. Ah. I'm so tilted. That's okay. I've... I've been I've been feeling pseudo tilted in this matchup for a, for a little while. I guess we attack. Why aren't we attack? We we're, we're gonna we attack. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Man, I hope he plays that angler. <laughs> Main phase it. Main phase one. Well, we'll remand it, and then he'll dispel a remand. See, that's like a good example of why cryptic honestly is bad. Like, let's say we had a cryptic in hand, and he goes angler. If we try to cryptic. He just dispels it with his more efficient counters. Oh, oh man, he's giving us a dream, a glimmer of hope. No, because he's gonna leave one mana up. Yeah, but if if he's if he's uh, countering that, he's not gonna counter the removal spell that we're gonna top deck. The two removal spells we're gonna top deck. <laughs> All it takes is one Wrath of God now. No, no, because Gurmag Angler is going to resolve, and then and then we're gonna get one draw step. Ooh. Wait, he, oh, he let that happen? What is going on? I am so confused. Well, he, he's waiting for a removal spell. Yeah, well, now we have logic so, now, boy. Yeah, so here we go. Sick rips. Actually, oh, Sphinx's Row would be nice, too. I refuse to untap. I'm too scared. Isn't Sphinx... Okay, let's just do it. This is... All right, we're, so we're going to have to do some perverse thing. We're going to tap the hollow fountain, tap the island, tap the swamp. We're going to dig too deep. Uh, and then when he goes to screw us over, we're logic nodding. And then we have we, this land. And we, we have a land, and we also can ghost court our own thing to get something. So exile uh, flooded strand there. Hold on, I don't want to screw this up after last time. This, and then delve. Flood strand. Two lands. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow, okay, good game. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <clears throat> well, th uh, thanks thanks again for having me. I'm honored, and I'm really sorry it did not go better. No, man, you didn't feel bad about it at all. I was just trying to think, can I fetch in shock so we die by our own hand? I don't think, yeah. it'll, even, I don't think it'll, it'll even give me the choice. It just comes into play on tap. Oh, we could Sphinx for zero. We died by our own hands. <laughs> ah, okay. That was just that was a lot of lands. Dad, we just drew really terribly. Like we have six pieces of spot removal and three board wipes, and didn't see any of them. Okay, well let's do a quick let's do a quick recap here. What was what was what was round one? Round one was uh we remember. <laughs> it's been that long. Uh, oh 
we, yeah, we, what did we lose against? It was like Hate Bears. Oh, yeah. Did we, we lost against Hate Bears. Oh, yeah, because of the double ghost quarter. Which I feel like is actually like a reasonable matchup. No, it's, it's, it's fine. We just, like, they just had double ghost quarter, mind sensor, Thalia. Yeah. Like, that, that combination right there was what got us. And then, let's see, round two was, I think we won that one. That was the blue black mill combo. <laughs> that was, was just one sided. Yeah, yeah. So we we wrecked there. Smash and face. Round three was was that burn? Yeah. And we kinda got lucky and we beat Well, actually I don't think we got lucky at all. I, I think we well we did get I think if Esper or Control ever beats Burn, there's some luck involved, but we I think we played oh. well there. Uh yeah, game game one he didn't have. It, it really comes down to like how much pressure they can get down with the uh, one mana creatures like on turn one and two. Because if if they're if they don't have them, the matchup actually becomes pretty good because we can grind them out. And then round four was the elf deck. Now, I I was tilted after that match because I walked us through this line of hey, all he wants to do is get. Eternal Witness, Eternal Witness for Collected Company, and then he's just going to cast Collected Company. The mistake I made was saying, so let's Cryptic Collected Company. I'm not even going to go into the weird misclick. We went mm-hmm. back and watched it, by the way, and the moment I clicked, the mouse just jerked a little bit. But the bat, the, what I was tilted over was making the decision to counter that when we had the Wrath of God, and all we had to do was let it resolve, untap, and Wrath. Now, we still may have died, because we would have untapped Wrath, and then he would have he would have courted after the fact for a Magus of the Moon, which is what he did anyway. We wouldn't have had Cryptic Command up for it, and that would have sucked. We probably still would have lost that game because of that, I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. actually, this this is where it gets really weird. Do we... Oh, never mind, never mind. That's not even worth getting into. Was it going back to the land, or was it just... <sighs> Well, well, well. There was the, there was the lands. Uh, should should not have fetched. Should should have held up the fetch lands. But uh, I I was almost thinking there. Well, what if we uh, <laughs> just pass the turn back and then take like ten to the phase and wait for <laughs> them to play? I mean, <laughs> one option is because we know we has the raft. One option is we he courted. So what he might have done is attempted to. Cord maybe his first main phase while his creatures yeah, are untapped, and, and, and then we could have countered and tapped his team. But that's a huge what if. It is, but it, let's say what if it did happen? We counter and tap his team and then wrath everything. Yeah. But probably not. Yeah. So that was that match, and then I feel like our our draws just weren't here for this. Like we we just didn't have like in game 1 we had no lands in game 2 we had no interaction we had nothing but lands yeah and that's just the way it goes sometimes that's magic variance um well i mean i still you know i think if i don't know about that elf match i think we 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 might you know i it would be interesting to see going back watching the videos and figuring out like could we have, say, converted two of those losses into wins if we had poten- well, potentially converted them into wins if we had selected some different lines? I'll be curious to see. Yeah, and that, that's def- with, a, with a deck like this, that's definitely a strong possibility. Um, it, it, it's really an, an art form that uh, we can easily get wrong, which yeah. makes no sense, but whatever. <laughs> There was also, like, my decision to pulse the fields and then not get it back. But we were so dead that game anyway. Yeah, that that game was just... I mean, we were both sitting there tanking, like, we're going to die. How do we not die? And so we decided to pulse, which was wrong. But the next turn, he just, like, plays another creature, and it was gross, so... Yeah, we, we and and there was we had we had a good seven that was just weak to a turn one creature, and we mold into a slightly worse six. <laughs> also and, weak to a turn one creature. Yeah, with the same weakness. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed the matches. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching some Esper Control. Uh, maybe me and Matt, if he's willing, can do this again sometime. 
And and yeah, Matt, thanks a lot for coming on, man. And thanks a lot for playing five games. That's like five hours of magic with us. We 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 all appreciate it. Uh, it was a good time. Thanks for having me. And uh, I the deck is a lot better than these results will have you think. It, it really is. All right. Well, as I always say. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, and if you don't already, please consider subscribing, draw well, smash face, and I'll talk to you guys soon.